Hey guys, this is Aggie. <laughs> Good to see you. <laughs> My dog uh, just jumped in the frame. I hope that's okay. I landed home after five weeks of being gone and I actually already recorded a video where I explain how to use my mobile presets but the Wi-Fi was so bad that I haven't be, been able to upload it and since then I had a few more ideas to add so here I am first thing I'm doing at home when I landed is uh, to hug puppies and to record this video for you so if you're watching this you're most likely uh, my customer or my follower, someone who is either interested or already bought my uh, presets. Uh, I have two kinds of presets. Desktop presets, which I released in February and recently two weeks ago in, in early May, like at the beginning of May, I released mobile presets that work on a mobile app. So what are presets and uh, just a little explain how everything works because I, uh, I would like to uh, get it, yeah explain everything. <laughs> this is a little distracting. <laughs> Just a little. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit about what presets are. Presets are filters. So there is a program that is built for coloring photos for professional photographers. The program is called uh, Adobe Lightroom. And th this is the program I've been using to edit my photos. And I never really intended to sell my presets until I've been flattered with DMs over months. It's like, Aggie, I really like your dreamy look. Like, I think you should sell your presets. And I was, as I was traveling, I was creating those presets, seeing what works for me best and growing as a photographer and as an editor. And uh, I realized, holy shit. Anyways, back, <laughs> back to the video. <laughs> People's gonna hate me because it's gonna be so boring. Uh, so I realized that, uh, it, Editing is not necessarily just bringing back what um, a photo looks like, it's also like a signature. So the thing with editing is it's like as a photographer you have a certain look, just like as a painter. So you know when you use uh, Van Gogh and his paintings that are very specific, bright, pretty of colors, and then you use Monet which is like more like a pastel look. Uh, even though they didn't live too, too far off from each other it's because everyone has a certain look and that's the same case with photos if you go to a lot of my male friends they use a lot of dark um, colors and like this one color scheme to match their theme whether it's blue whether it's turquoise whatever and mine are i'm trying to kind of match every location but it's a look it's something that as a photographer when you grow and if you consider yourself a professional you have to create something on your own and adding that look is like expressing, uh, it's like adding a signature, it's like, yeah, like painting, uh, basically. So I I felt like maybe there's no need to share it with other people, but then I realized that as a young photographer, young photographers often need that guidance. So even to begin with, I realized the moment I released mobile presets, I've got a very different crowd of people buying mobile presets because with desktop, because you have to pay for a, the software to use desktop presets people were like very serious about it and whenever there was something that they had to change they immediately knew how to adjust these presets uh, to their liking and they never really had to have any help in terms of uh, delivery and now that I released the very same presets on mobile I'm getting so many more uh, questions from people that are asking the, the most basic questions like how to change my skin tone how do I adjust my skin tone and to me it was at the beginning super surprising like well like oh, what do you mean like you've never used Lightroom and it turns out a lot of people have never used Lightroom and they expect the presets to work like a filter and I guess that's the only difference between a filter and a preset yes you can I could I could sell presets that are like very basic just like a filter that would change a couple of things so they could potentially work on every photo but my rule is like if it works for everything it means for now it works for nothing so i know there are presets out there on the market that are just very gentle that technically works on every photo but to me that doesn't work at all if you want to have that beautiful certain look you have to uh yeah you have to take it a step further and i guess that's uh what my presets are with that said because they're very specific yes they will need some adjusting depending it will mean uh, it will require more creativity from you that will require for you to pick the right presets and then adjust it to your liking and uh, I decided to share the very same presets I use 
normally because I felt like if <laughs> yeah basically yeah I guess that's like another thing people were like oh like these presets not how I want my photos that was like another feedback well I'm like well this presets I'm selling what I'm offering on my website it's the exact same presets I use for uh for my photos and this is basically if you're buying the presets I don't know if they're gonna match your style I can't guarantee it at at all but what I can guarantee is that these are the presets that I'm using so what you're gonna do with them and how you decide to take uh, take that knowledge and everything that I'm using how I'm using split toning how I'm using this all that knowledge that's taken me from a zero zero on Instagram zero followers and zero in terms of photography to where I am right now and three years of knowledge for $50 it's really uh, not so bad I don't think so Okay, so let's. I'm gonna walk you through this entire mobile preset process and I'll show you how I edit photos and explain to you how everything works and what exactly are mobile presets. So let's go to Lightroom first and I'll show you these how to even design a mobile preset and maybe that will give you a better idea how I, uh, how I design them. So, for example, this is an underwater preset that I used but because it's a JPEG so I'll show you information so when I exported it for a desktop it was no problem when I exported this photo so for a mobile preset I have to export the photo with that preset so you can see the exact photo the problem that I encounter with mobile presets is that for example this is a JPEG so whenever I slapped it onto uh, like a lot of people couldn't uh, work with this JPEG for whatever reason some people had problems so I had to update the file and put the same pr preset the underwater preset to a random photo it didn't matter which photo as long as this preset is still on there so you can copy paste it so you can use it so I chose this photo and a lot of people said Aggie your photo looks so different on the website I'm like well because the photo <laughs> it's actually been edited completely different for this you know for my with my boat preset or whatever I don't remember oh, Tahiti preset but uh, I don't remember exactly which one but because the underwater preset was created for the JPEG and the JPEG wasn't opening for some of you I had to use that exact same preset onto and put it in any random photo so you can use it so here's one thing another photo that looks a little different is this photo and a lot of people say that's a completely different photo than what you have on Instagram well here because I had to stick to the same format I had to keep it dark so as you can see in the corner it says exposure so this photo was shot very dark because uh, honestly it didn't have to be shot this dark but Michael's trying to keep the outside and if I cre had this preset being sold the way it was published which is like this it will blow out every single one of your photos because when you design a preset you have to make sure that the exposure is you don't play a lot with exposure because it really depends on the photo whether it was underexposed and overexposed from my experience i we always underexpose photos we like dark photos because there's so much more variety looking at the presets and photos you guys work with 90 percent of the times so unfortunately they are overexposed so the reason why my preset as you can see it's the exact same preset that I use it's just I added um, less exposure for an export so this looks like this because I was worried that they will be constantly overexposing photos and people will be freaking out oh my photos like blow up so it would look like this for most people and people would freak out so I then decided to keep it darker just so people know what's going on and then a lot of photos so for example, I had an Istanbul uh, format, I had Kali, which is, I had to put the Kali presets on this because I had a lot of photos that I didn't have access to anymore. I kept this photo a little darker than usual because I was, again, worried you see exposure is a plus one seven, so it was shot very dark. I was worried this is basically the exposure I ended up posting, but I was really worried about overexposing our photos again and this photo a lot of people like this photo looks very different to the one on instagram well this is a preset called brunette so this preset was actually designed uh, by a photo from one of my followers which was this but i can't use someone else's photo to sell my presets and to because i have to put a filter onto some photo it doesn't matter what photo because the photo doesn't change the filter i put it on this photo so it's just has a name just so you know this is the brunette and again uh, because it's been designed it's very different I would not edit this photo this way but because 
it's a different feel, uh, preset. So same goes for about photos and all the other photos through the belly. Uh, just just so you know where the differences are from. Like for example, this preset's actually the fake preset that I used in Turkey. I didn't have that photo of me because I was traveling for five weeks. It's backed up at home. Uh, so yes, edit on the actual Instagram is different because I didn't use the filter. Uh, this particular fin filter for this photo. All right, cool. I hope that's clear. So as you will unzip the files and you don't need to have a laptop to uh, install mobile presets, you, if you can unzip files on your phone, that's awesome. If you don't, you would rather do it. I personally would prefer to open it on a laptop or any computer, open the zip file and then either email the just the files or airdrop if you have apple that's awesome so you'll get this little folder and that says aggie mobile master and aggie mobile world tour so these are the mobile presets so here are the presets you even get a free additional belize preset so when i do this is the before but the file is dng and dng is the format that um saves it with a preset so the computer can actually read the photo before and after so see this is the original photo see how dark we shoot all our photos uh, that you will always have to adjust the exposure it will be either too dark or too uh, too bright so here are the presets and shows you how to do them Ta -da! see like this one also super dark and first thing exposure is like super important never to uh, never to go too bright so once you have these photos you copy, share, and airdrop them to your phone, and it gets saved to the camera roll. And let's go there. This is what my feed looks like when I was using filters, Visco app, you name it. So I was only using my phone without presets and I struggled a lot with consistency here I struggle a lot with um, mm, I don't know how to say it but fixing photos a lot of times because I just because of lighting and because of the apps not being powerful enough to deal with such various conditions so even though I had a professional camera I would still w use Wi-Fi to put the photos onto my phone and edit uh, solely on my phone and this was just like basically slapping one filter and somewhere around here in Philippines I was like oh perhaps I should like look into Lightroom and be more consistent with my feed and figure out a way to get a certain look and I think this was slowly my adventure with Lightroom started and the photo quality became so much better even though the look was not necessarily quite there yet and with that said, it doesn't mean you have to use your computer. It's that Lightroom is just so much more powerful uh, than other programs with like general filters. So it's slowly, slowly starting to get a little better. This is like now that I, this is like three or four months. So you see my journey and you see how I'm becoming better and better and getting the right color. So fast forward. A little bit we're in Bali now so six months after using presets and I could tell I can definitely get the look I want now maybe I would use a different look but the fact that I could actually get the coloring I wanted and get you know get to the point where I am right now at that point that was pretty cool like I could get a sunset really well I could get like nice deep greens very well like I didn't have to like that's turkey I was very happy with coloring. That's actually one of my filters that I'm selling, the uh, Istanbul. And there is also, where is the fig preset? I think it's coming up in a second. Uh, yeah, so I was super happy about, oh, that's the preset I'm saying. I was so happy with getting these colors right in this grain and oh, so cool. Even though it was a sponsor post. That's another preset I'm selling. I got really good at that point. I was like, wow, cool. I can really figure out this coloring thing. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Another preset I'm selling, <laughs> uh, sunset preset that I was really happy with. Yeah, so slowly, slowly, I was just getting better and better uh, at it. And as you can see, if I skip here, was my recent feed. But even like in the meantime, oh sorry, uh, you see Maldives, just like you can see a big difference 
between all of it. And then fast forward here, which is Bora Bora. And that's where I released my presets. Because at that point, I was like, okay, I kind of have an idea of how to adjust things. See, the depth is there. It's like the photos are not super washed out. I feel like they're like, I know what I want to get. It's not an accident. I know exactly the look I'm after. Uh, I'm way more powerful and confident in my coloring. We like this preset as well. Did a lot of work on this photo. Um, yeah, and then that's Jordan. So I included the Petra presets in my new pack as well. So yeah, I feel way more better and more, more confident about the way I edit photos right now. And that's why I feel way more confident about selling them. Anyways, with that said, uh, let's uh, continue to the phone and let me show you how I do other things. Okay, here we are. Here's my phone and the Lightroom app is here on the left bottom corner of my phone. I'm going to enter the app right now and show you how I import my presets onto the app first. And this is going to be a long tutorial, but it's worth it. So stick with me. I create an album and I call it presets. I already have these um, albums created on my Lightroom, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. Now it says Aggie. I go into that album. It is empty. So I'm going to add and then camera roll is when you have like uh, the presets on your phone already. I selected my photos because I already have these presets uh, on my app already. But if you're doing it for the very first time, you have to choose camera roll and select photos to add to this album. The photos are DNG file, which is an original uh, file with the presets. Okay, now that we have these albums, I quickly want to talk to you about how to what kind of photos you can use so as you can see in the right bottom corner over here there's a little camera icon and i would highly suggest taking photos through the lightroom app if you want your photos uh, if you want to have more control over your photos so let me show you see this a little icon i'm gonna click it and actually can take a photo through the Lightroom app. So look, this is Chia <laughs> lying right next to me. And you can see I can adjust exposure, uh, ISO, white balance, everything uh, to my liking, which is like basically like a professional camera. And it really helps you uh, learn more about photography. See, so here's, I'm, I'm changing ISO. You can leave it on automatic. You can choose uh, sunny, auto balance or cloudy or auto. Uh, you can reset it and then the Corning C Pro you can change it to either automatic uh, which is pretty self-explanatory or high dynamic range which is great for um, dark objects in the front while, while the background is very bright so I would say if you can and if you only take photos on your phone I highly suggest taking them with the Lightroom app see I can change the um, the lens to from wide to telescopic I can take photo of Chia and yeah maybe hdr is not necessary for this particular case but you can just do oh she woke up uh yeah so you can uh, you can do that all right cool so while these are getting processed i want to show you how i edit photos finally uh so i go to my album and here are my photos i'll start with uh, I'll start with showing you how I edit this photo just to begin with. It's a great photo that shows how to adjust skin tones just because we can see a lot of uh, a lot of skin, so to say. So I'll start with World Tour and I will use the World Tour preset. It looks slightly different. Again, I, I was very careful not to play around with exposure too much. So I'm just copying the presets copy. I go back to my camera roll. I click that photo and then I paste settings. I went to very quickly, but I'll show you in the next photo uh, slowly. All right, cool. So now that I have these settings, I'm like, okay, this is not a perfect photo. There's like a little, a lot of shadows and perhaps a, I want to adjust my skin color. So let's go there. At the bottom, I have an option color. You click that and then you go to the corner and it says mix. So you go mix and you have different colors. You see orange because orange is the skin color. So oh, you can adjust hue that will be more reddish skin tone or more green. Or if your skin looks too green, then you can change it to more red. Saturation shows like how you can adjust your skin tone to be either more saturated or less. If a lot of people struggle with saturation, that's great. And this is exposure. If it's too dark, you bring luminance brighter. If it's too bright, uh, then you bring it lower. And then I'm going to do it a little lower turn up the saturation and as you can see it's already a big big difference with just a couple of clicks of adjusting 
the colors. Right now uh, I'm gonna set it back to import and I will also show you how to like use a random preset. So I'm gonna go to my master collection and let me see, let's gonna use this preset. I'm gonna copy settings. I press OK. I go back to the photo and I'll see how this photo will behave if I click a random, paste a random preset on it. Like, oh cool, not as well because it wasn't quite designed. It's not the ideal preset for it. So let's adjust it just so we can see how to adjust the not so ideal presets. At a first glance, it's way too overexposed. So I'm gonna turn down satur saturation, just like I told you. It's already too overexposing, even though I brought it pretty dark. And then my skin looks kind of weird. Like you could say, okay, like, I don't know if this looks very real, like it looks too dark. It doesn't really work. And don't worry, like I adjust my presets all the time. Uh, I can change vibrance. I'm showing you different options over here, but let's go to the mix so I can show you how to adjust the skin tones. Uh, oh, and by the way, this is white balance too, by the way. So you can click on white balance and pick a white item on your photo and it already adjusts the photo right away. That easy. See, so that's already not too bad. Just by using that picker for white balance and choosing the white balance you want. But it's too easy. <laughs> I want to show you the hard way to do things. So I'm going to go to the original one. You see, it looks kind of weird. And now I'm going to go to mix and orange tones and then i'll be adjusting the tones of my skin so you can see all right so now i think it's way too saturated so i'm going to bring saturation up so it's less saturated i'll make my skin a little greener and then i'll bring the saturation up a little bit just a little bit so you can see it's already so much better i think it might be still a little green so i'm gonna bring the yellows from the green part to more warmish part I feel like the yellows would be great and I'll bring their saturation because I think uh, saturation luminance because I feel like they're a little too dark and on top of that okay that's already so much better again not exactly the same look I had before I can't really compare oh bummer I wish I could compare two presets but you see it's like already different not exactly the preset that I want but it's already so much better and depending on the kind of look you want you can still feel like oh this is too green it's not green enough totally up to you there's no right or wrong answer this is photography photography is art and you get to choose all right let's go to another photo uh and i think i'm gonna use this preset because i really really like it it's one of my favorite presets i copy the settings and because there's a lot of blues i feel like in my work on that bow photo that popped up a second ago uh and I swear to God, I never edited this photo before. This is the very first time. Oh, there you go. Uh, it might not work. Like, it's a totally random thing. But if I see blues and I see blues in my photo that I think that might work. I actually, this is one click, as you can see. Uh, that's it. I didn't do much more. I actually freaking love it. And I think the photo I posted on Instagram from this moment wasn't edited as well because I used a different preset. I love this. I wouldn't actually change anything. I can add more exposure if I really wanted to, but honestly oh, yeah i mean this is lucky like you sometimes have to change things sometimes it didn't this was the mali busan preset let's play around with some blues just to show you i can make blues more green if you want more luminance uh see so it's kind of bring it up uh what else uh yeah maybe we can play around with skin tones too because uh i know that this is always the struggle for people uh let me just see you see i can just kind of bring the shadows down real quick before we move on so i pop up more and the highlights so the sun even hits me more so it's more like contrasty you see yeah that's fun yeah <laughs> I'm actually very proud of it. I, I think it's fun energy. I, maybe it, perhaps I should post it. You should let me know. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go to the skin tone. So again, oranges. Uh, I can get rid of some saturation and see I can get myself very dark if I really wanted to. This is just to show you. I'm not making fun. I'm just going to show you how much you can influence the photo. Uh, you can do... Yeah, Lightroom is extremely powerful. It just affects that particular color. Uh, I'm not going to go too dark, although I always make my skin a little darker, uh, more saturation, and voila. I think it wasn't too bad at all. All right. Uh, yeah, I wonder if I should add another photo real quick just to uh, show you more, if there's any other photo that I want to edit. Oh, yeah, let's edit the Bali photo. I actually really like it. So this is the photo. I'm going to uh, reset it to import and 
you can see here that we actually overexposed this photo. Um, so it's not shot very well. I'm going to go to the master collection. I have the Bali presets over here. I'm going to copy it. And you see, this is actually, again, exposure is not set right for the actual photo. So the photo looks slightly like different to my, what my Instagram, but I'll show you the moment I paste the settings onto this photo and just change just exposure to make it darker. It's already looking so much better, huh? Yeah, so again, some of the presets look like, oh, these are weird, only because like I didn't want to play around with exposure too much. See, so I almost like it like just like kind of like, um moody yeah way better and i really like the greens in this photo uh like it's a nice mix between warm greens but i'll show you how i adjust greens so greens can be very like cold and very warm so these are kind of like in the middle and then i can change the saturation and luminance so the brightness of greens so i can make them super bright or super dark i can also um show you how to uh, yeah, so this is the greens uh and i will also show you yeah the, that's the before and after i'm trying to see if there's anything else i would change about this photo maybe make it a little darker maybe uh bring down the blacks so it's more moody uh and make it a little warmer or cold oh that's way too cold uh, but again it's like there's not really long right or long answers sometimes they play around with photos forever like adding vibrance vibrance which is like saturation so you add vibrance to colors just so i can see what really works and yeah it might last forever but i am pretty happy with this preset i think that would be it for today let me know if you have any more questions i'm more than happy to record another video uh let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed if not uh stay tuned for another youtube tutorial thanks for watching